Hey data fans, Reed here. Today is a quick tip on a best practice whenever you're creating a new DAX measure in your Power BI desktop model. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So the quick tip that I have for you today is fairly straightforward. In general, when you're creating a DAX measure in your Power BI model, you have two primary choices of where to create it from. You have the new measure button up here at the top on the home ribbon or under table tools as well. You also have an option to right click on any of the tables that you want to add it to and select from here, new measure. And my recommendation as a best practice is always use the right click or context menu and new measure option. The reason being is whatever table you're actively selecting when you select new measure is where it goes to by default. And sometimes you might want to add, say a measure to your DAX measures table. But if I'm in my calendar table and I click new measure, as you can see that now added to the calendar table and then I have to now come to this, I'm going to have to change the home table to the measures table instead. So there's a few extra steps that I now have to accommodate. So there's a lot less room for error if you just right click the place you want to put it in, select new measure, and then add the calculation from there. And that's about it. I wanted to show you a quick tip for today. Just an overall best practice of a convenient way to add a new measure to your model with a little less room for error of accidentally putting it in the wrong table. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Plus, if this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. So until next time.